A group of despicable bullies viciously beat down a 12-year-old with special needs repeatedly, recording their attacks. They were made to regret it when the boy's dad saw the footage and promised, it's got to stop no matter what. Raiden Overbay, a 12-year-old Yukon, Oklahoma boy with autism, has faced relentless bullying and at least two of the brutal beatings he endured were captured on video, according to KFOR. One took place on a Thursday after school and another occurred the following day in the school bathroom. According to the boy's mother, the two incidents are unrelated and just so happen to be within 24 hours of each other. In the first video, taking place in a mobile home park, Raiden can be seen exchanging punches with another juvenile and then being physically assaulted, seemingly unprovoked, by two juvenile suspects, Major Matt Fairchild with the Yukon Police Department said. In the second video, captured the following day, Raiden is punched in the school's bathroom by a different person. According to authorities, he didn't even fight back. The cruel videos were circulated on social media, but Raiden's tormentors didn't get the reaction they had hoped for. As the footage went viral, most expressed outrage, with some going as far as to issue death threats against his attackers. Raiden's father, Danny Overmay, demanded the bullying end. It's gotta stop no matter what. Whether it's my son, somebody else's son or daughter, it's gotta stop, he said. Many others agreed with Raiden's dad and expressed support for Raiden. In fact, the viral videos of Raiden's beatings inspired a national campaign of support. Because a couple of people, or a few people, decided to record it on video because they thought it was funny is the only reason I'm sitting in front of you today. Some of those kids claim to be my son's friends. And that's hard as a dad, said Danny, breaking down in tears. According to Raiden's parents, the middle schooler has faced bullying his entire life because he deals with many challenges, including ADHD, ODD, ADD, and Autism Spectrum Disorder, KFOR reported. Our son is a high-functioning, special needs child. Just because we don't label him as special needs child doesn't mean that he's not, Raiden's dad, Danny said. As you saw in the video, he's always been bigger than everybody. I would witness kids when he was like eight or nine just walk up and punch him square in the stomach," said Scotland Overbay, Raiden's mother, explaining how she has personally witnessed the bullying her son has suffered at the hands of other kids. As the community responded to the videos with support for Raiden, a social media campaign under the hashtag StandWithRaiden also began. Those wanting to support Raiden and his family were encouraged to contact the nonprofit organization Fight for the Forgotten which worked with the Overbase to make sure Raiden was doing well and feeling supported. Fight for the Forgotten founder, Justin Wren's message is to spread kindness. The purpose is not to cast blame on the School of Yukon. It's not to cast shame at all on the students that were involved. It's actually to rally support, support for Raiden, he said. Just to surround them with love and encouragement and compassion and kindness is contagious, Wren added, and Raiden's parents agree. While they're grateful for the support Raiden's received, Danny and Scotland are worried about the other kids involved and want everyone to stop and think. His parents are adamant that they do not condone cyberbullying against their son's bullies and have condemned the death threats made against the children who were seen bullying Raiden in the video. These are adults threatening children, said Scotland, threatening harm to children, which is totally unacceptable. I shouldn't have to sit here and say adults quit threatening 12 and possibly 13-year-old children, she added and it's important to note that their punishment should be determined by the school and law enforcement, which is exactly what happened, not by internet bullies who are no better than the kids fighting Raiden. Both the school and the police were able to investigate and intervene thanks to the video evidence the bullies themselves provided. Yukon Public Schools confirmed that disciplinary actions were taken against the students involved. They may also face additional punishment since the police were also investigating. They could be facing charges of assault and battery and possible bullying, Major Fairchild said. As for the Overbase, they said they've forgiven the bullies and do not blame the Yukon school where the bullying was recorded. His mother and I forgive the babies for what they did. We forgive the kids for what they did. They made a mistake. They're 12. They're 13. They've got a life to live, said Danny. They made a huge mistake. We forgive them as parents, so please stop all the cyberbullying.